I can tell you as sure as the nose on my face that Anissa knows and forever will know that I love her. An emotional day in court as family members address one of the men convicted of killing an 11 year old girl. For the second time in just over a week, one of Anissa Scott's killers was sentenced to decades in prison. And while the family saw justice served, they also had to relive the horrors of the 11 year old's tragic death. Our Andrew Banstra joins us with the story. Andrew. Perion Carrion was sentenced to 25 years in prison for first degree reckless homicide of Anissa Scott as party to a crime on Monday. He was also sentenced to an additional five years in prison for the attempted first degree intentional homicide of Christopher Carthens as a party to a crime. The sentences will be served consecutively. Not having her here has really torn a big part of me right out of my chest. It's something that you really can't explain. Anissa Scott's family spoke their piece to 21-year-old Perion Carrion, convicted of taking their beloved 11-year-old's life. Despite bringing her killers to justice, the family has a permanent void and more questions than answers. Was she scared in the moment? Was she in pain? Did she know? The shooting happened on August 11th, 2020 on East Washington Avenue in Madison. Anissa was shot in the head and taken off life support two days later. I'm tired of being a grieving mom. I just want my baby and my normal life back. Anissa's mother's boyfriend, Christopher Carthans, was the intended target when three teens fired multiple shots at his car, one of which struck and killed Anissa, who was in the passenger seat. This is about as serious as it gets. Whether you intended to kill her, whether you intended to scare Christopher Carthans, it doesn't really matter because she's gone. In sentencing, Judge Genovese acknowledged Carrion's difficult upbringing and accountability while also citing dozens of character witnesses. She added that while those are no excuse for his actions, those are the reasons that Carrion received a lighter sentence than Andre Brown, who was sentenced last week. Anissa was the same age as Perrion's sister. They knew each other. He killed someone, it could have easily been his sister, and he knows that. Speaking with Scott's family in the courtroom, Carrion acknowledged the irreparable pain he has caused. I created a pain to Anissa's family that can never be brought to justice or fixed or changed or anything of that such. The biggest mistake of my life is what I did that day. And I take full accountability for it. In sentencing, Dane County ADA Daniel Hess said that while unintentional, there is overwhelming evidence that Carrion fired the fatal shot. Carrion's 30 year sentence is lighter than his cohort Andre Brown's who was sentenced to 35 years last week. A third suspect, Jerry Ward, who pleaded not guilty, has a trial set for early November.